Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this time we are going to discuss how to find the mode. So what is the mode? How to find the mode. But before that, please don't forget to share, like, share, and comment. So how to find the mode? One of the measures of central tendency is the mode. Mode is the most frequent data value. So the given set of data, it can be unimodal, one mode, or it can be bimodal, two modes, and no mode at all. So we have here an example. The exam scores of 10 English composition students were recorded below. Find the mode 93, 82, 78, 98, 90, 84, 81, 97, 59, and 93. So it is helpful to arrange the data, but it's not necessarily required. Since the given data sets here, as we observe, there are 93 occurred twice or two times. So therefore, the mode is 93, since that is the most frequent data. Okay, so that is one unimodal, one mode. Another example, given the scores 1, 3, 3, 3, 5, 5, 7, 7, 7, and 10. Find the mode. Since 3 and 7 occur 3 times, so the mode are 3 and 7. And this is what we call as bimodal. So this is an example of bimodal. There are two modes. Or you can have multimodal. Another example, the given scores 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, and 10. Find the mode. Since the scores are unique. So in this example, there is no mode. Do not say the mode is zero, but there is no mode. So it can be no mode bimodal, multimodal, or one mode. So what are the properties of the mode? The properties of the mode, the mode is used when the most typical case is desired. We look for the most frequent cases. The mode is the easiest average to compute. And the mode can be used when the data are nominal, such as religious affiliation, uh, gender, or uh religious preferences gender or political affiliation the mode is not always unique so you can have one mode you can have two mode or bimodal or no mode okay that's all thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment down for another topic to discuss in the future thank you god bless